Hi, I'm Severio from Honor Plugins. Today I want to show you a quick tutorial with Logic Pro X and how our Hatefish Regenerator Euclidean Step Sequencer. And uh, uh, I want to show you how to use the plugin to drive multiple software instruments, everyone assigned to a different MIDI channel. And uh, just with one instance of Regenerator, you can uh, drive uh, as many as, as up to 16 different software instruments using the standard MIDI channel assignment. But how this is done in Logic, uh, it's a little bit uh, complicated and obscure sometimes. So uh, with this tutorial, we'll, uh, I'll show you how this uh, can be accomplished. So I have uh, my Logic Pro session here, and uh, it's an empty one. And it asks us to create a new track. So I'm going to create a new software instrument track. And uh, for our purpose, I'm going to remove the instrument and have an empty track that will be used to drive an external, a fake external instrument and that uh, will um, be output uh, the, MIDI, the, the MIDI data to our uh, IAC MIDI driver that is part of Mac OS X. So, uh, we can uh, create a fake uh, MIDI chain uh, that uh, will uh, allow us to send the MIDI data to different uh, instruments on different channels. So let's first add a utility external instrument, mono for our purpose is perfectly fine. And in the MIDI destination, we have to choose the AAC driver bus one. All MIDI channel is perfect, so we don't have to change anything else. Now, we have to do another uh, setting in Logic, because uh, otherwise uh, all the signal in the MIDI channel are packed into one, but we need uh, different uh, uh, data for different channels. So, in File, Project Setting, Recording, and we have to Auto the mix by channel if multitrack recording in the MIDI section. So enable this flag here. At this point, we can create a new software instrument track. Let's say we want uh, um, a retro synth here. And select, uh, I don't know, maybe a bass line, so 80s bass, that's good. Then we create another track, new software instrument track, and uh, let's keep the classic electric piano. Now, on the first track we have created, inst one, we add our ray generator plugin This is Ray Generator, and we create two different sequences. Enable track number two, and we say that uh, the first channel one has to play eight notes. And uh, sequencer number two, let's play fifth, like this. So, and this is uh, good right now, so we can hear the difference. The first uh, lane here is outputting on channel number one. The second one is output, outputting on channel number two. Okay, let's change the note to something more useful. And this uh, will play an E on the first octave. So it's, this is going to be our best line and this is our rhythm line maybe. I don't know how to call it. So uh, we go on the first bass track we created earlier and uh, we choose MIDI channel 1. We go to the second track and we choose MIDI channel 2. Then we have to enable the record and now that both, both tracks are armed we can press play and it should, the, the sequence should play differently on the first and second track.
So, as you have seen, we have uh, been able to route the different uh, uh, lanes in a ray generator to different tracks. Then if we want, we can uh, record the output of these tracks uh, or the MIDI from ray generator. And um, we have used just a track, but of course you can use up to different 16 different tracks and uh, get more interesting results than what we did. Of course, you can uh, um, modulate uh, the, the effect using the LFA audio mount uh, and uh, do the old, do the animation, the automations you want using the Logic Pro automations. Remember that to create this effect, this uh, way to use the plugin, we had to enable the um, AAC MIDI driver that is part of the system but is not enabled by default. And to enable it, you have to go in the MIDI setup and we are gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that. So from here, you go to um, Show MIDI Studio and you have to enable the ASC MIDI driver that is by default is set offline and if it's offline uh, Logic won't be able to uh, propagate the data from um, the right generator to your devices. If you enable that it will be possible to achieve what, what we did. So this is how you can use a ray generator to drive up to different 16 software instruments or real instruments if you want um, with Logic Pro X. It's pretty easy, but uh, there, are, there are a couple of things you have to know, like the AAC driver that you have to enable and uh, the recording mode that have to um, unpack all the MIDI data that otherwise are sent on channel one by default. And once you did that, it's pretty straightforward. So if you want more tutorial like this, just uh, uh, ask for them uh, in the comments here below or write us uh, using uh, our website. So this is a Ray Generator, our Euclidean Step Sequencer that is available on uh, www.honorplugins.com. You can go there and try out uh, the plugin and if you don't like it, you have a 15 days money back guarantee. So thank you very much for watching this video.